They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together, the kooky, the Jima family. Their house is a museum, when people come to see them, they really are a scream, the Jeepa family. Neat. Sweet. Petite. So pleasure with your shawl on, a broomstick you can curl on, we're gonna play a call on, the Jeepa family. Welcome back. I'm Donovan. And I'm Viviana. And this is GPO TV. So since three months of school is left, we have started field trips and here's what our school did. Students in Mrs. Sweeney's living environment and Mick Damon's forensic science classes recently visited Stony Brook University to work in some of the DNA labs on campus. Students learned about the different aspects of forensic science and practiced some of the techniques investigators use when working to solve crimes. First, we extracted DNA nuclei from the white blood cells. This is done by bathing the cells in hot water, then adding salt and putting the mixture back into the centrifuge. Then, we cut the DNA strand into fragments using a restriction enzyme. We made the agarose gel, a type of seaweed that turns into gelatin when dissolved in boiling water. Carefully, we placed the fragments into one end of a bed of agarose gel with electrocutes on it, using an electric current to sort the DNA segments by length. This process is called agarose gel electrophoresis. Electrophoresis refers to the process of moving negatively charged molecules through the gel with electricity. Shorter segments move further away from their original location, while longer ones stay closer. The segments align in parallel rows. The sheet was stained so the different lengths of DNA bands are visible to the naked eye. By treating the sheet with radiation, an autoradiograph is created. This is an image on x-ray film left by the decay patterns of the radiation. The audio radiograph with its distinct dark colored parallel bands is the DNA profile. DNA profiling is the focus behind most of the activities. Students carried out an authentic gel electrophoresis experiment and created DNA fingerprints to help solve a fictional crime. It was a great, fun day. Our robotics team won, so they're off to nationals. Here's what happened. April is here, so that means spring sports are back. We have softball, baseball, track, and lacrosse. And, oh wait, you got them all. That's right. All right. Interact Club is throwing an Easter egg hunt for the entire elementary. We have over 7,000 eggs and a hundred grand golden egg prizes. What are you doing today? So basically, uh, I am setting up the uh, Easter egg hunt for the uh, kids on elementary school. The process of this was for elementary so they can, because we don't have school on Easter, so it's like a fun way for the elementary kids to have fun. Our class and the Interact class filled 7,000 eggs. Welcome to the Easter egg hunt! You have prizes. There are golden eggs with special prizes. So if you have a golden egg, you're going to go to one of these guys here and they're going to give you your golden egg prize.
So we just had our spring musical production of Grease and it was a huge success. Yeah, we had people from all around the community come together to watch us perform in this great show. I was Rizzo. And I played Roger. Hey, do you want to go find some cast members? And some pit members? Yeah, let's, let's go! go. What was your role in the production of Grease this year? Uh, in the production of Grease, um, I was part of the pit band. Um, I was playing percussion for it. And what was your favorite part of this entire show? Mm, I would say like my favorite part was probably like getting more experience with the percussion and drums as a whole. Um, we had the um, mentors there that helped uh, give me more experience with that. And overall, I felt it was a lot of fun with the learning. Thank you. In Greece this year, I played Roger. And what was like your favorite song that you sang? That's tough. I really liked Mooning. That was. I spend my days. <laughs> Experience being your first time in a musical. Um, you know, it was a little, little nerve wracking. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, overall, it was nice. You know, made some new friends, made some stronger bonds. It was just a good. Thing. You ever think about wearing earrings? I think you keep your face from looking so skinny. I was in elementary school. I was studying in the library. True as it can be. Barely even friends. That somebody bends unexpectedly. I was at practice with my team. Just a little change Small to say the least Both a little scared Neither one prepared We were in seventh grade. I was in school in Florida. We were in first grade. Song is old as right and the beat. 